Jak się masz? Today we are visiting inland place just for a change. Uh, the place is called Simon's Bath and has a apparently nice walk along the river Burl. Uh, what else can I say? Simon's Bath is a very funny place. I mean funny. Well, it looks strange because when you passing it, it just have a few houses. Literally, you can count it on your fingers and toes. And yeah, church, uh, two hotels, which I don't even know if they work or not. Uh, yeah, it's very, very tiny. Uh, basically, I don't know, uh, that's my opinion. Not everybody have to agree, but the uh, problem with Devon and Cornwall, at least the problem I find, is uh, inland there is not a lot of interesting spots, uh, the way I feel. Not a lot of interesting spots to film, uh, you know, with spectacular views. I've been driving through Devon for the last 16 years and also I've been driving through Cornwall a few times and yeah I mean Devon and Cornwall are all about the coastline inland you got pretty much you know uh, smaller or bigger hills nothing happens little valleys uh, rivers streams and fields mainly a fields even now here we are uh, pretty much in the heart of National Exmoor Park and yeah you got fields all around but uh, let's see what Simon's Bath offer uh, we've been already once with the Scottish explorer not far from here uh, in a Lanaker Bridge uh, we try to reach that place on foot, but unfortunately everything was surrounded by the private land and we couldn't do that. So today I try from the other side. We'll see how it goes. So we enter the forest. I forgot the name of that forest. Uh, something woods. <laughs> Uh, there is a choice of several footpaths you can go down right next to the river or you can go uh, up we will pick the way down the signpost shows picket stones which is pretty much not where we want to go we want to go along the river down here The second footpath <laughs> most likely is that one going down there. That is the one we didn't pick up to walk on. But we can always come back this, that way. We'll see if it goes right next to the river or not. Uh, the river Burl you know already from the episode in the Lanaker Bridge this is the Salmon River uh, so I guess we will be here if I could remember around October time when the Salmon rush up the stream to spawn uh, maybe if we lucky we can film some of it I just hope it's not gonna be raining because the weather just a few days ago weather turned into worst it's quite windy and it's not raining all the time but the rain is come and go come and go all day long 
uh, let's hope we just lucky to pick up the clean spot during the day practical information for everybody who wants to come here uh, car park coast like everywhere these days uh, three pounds for three hours or five pounds for the whole day but it seems to be working just like the shops and businesses i arrived about 10 past two i put three pounds and yeah i can park till uh, 10 o'clock at night which means yeah it's probably counting up to five o'clock and after five o'clock uh, everything after five o'clock classifies as the whole day so if you come here just like me right after three o'clock you may be lucky to get away with paying just three pounds for the whole day nice surprise high five and as you can see already here that's pretty much where the river goes i mean right now it was a we are after quite a dry period so the water is not here but i can see down there this is sort of like a marshy site usually probably when the water level is higher this is all flooded sort of like a flood plains and yeah basically uh, beautiful views we cannot see very far because we're going obviously down into the valley just as I expected every now and then I can see now I can see the footprints or rather the hoof prints but yeah every now and then from that hill I can see the places like this they obviously hasn't been made by the human that must be wild animals specifically i would say it's a uh, raw deers or deers uh, must be quite a lot of them in here coming down to the river because i cannot see people walking so heavily on those hills or cows oh you see another place another spot where they come down maybe if we're lucky and quiet enough we can spot one of them i just have to look closely they may be hidden up there in those ferns you see And here we are, right next to the river, and that's basically the main dominant picture you can find on the moors in the valleys, everywhere where there is a stream or river or whatever. No trees, just ferns, shrubs, a lot of gorse and heather brambles as well oh soon there will be nice brambles to uh, or blackberries to feed on and here we got we have the beautiful slug crawling slowly to wherever he crawls into
wonder what is the elevation of the ground of those hills up there. Uh, is this a uh, hundred meters up or no hundred not hundred meters up? It's quite interesting because we don't have snow. We don't have a lot of snow here in Devon. Sometimes we got years with no snow, but you can be always sure of hundred percent when it's snowing. Uh, then here is is always white. This terrain is uh, located higher than, for example, Ilfracum, where I live. And yeah, I don't know what's the difference in the level, but it must be a few hundred meters, I would say. Because, yeah, like I said, if it's snowing, even if the snow doesn't settle in Ilfracum, you can be sure that here will be white and the whole area will be cut of the world because uh, yeah obviously <laughs> roads will be full of snow we don't have plows in here uh, so yeah it's only uh, people can rely on are farmers in their tractors trying to clear uh, roads for themselves and their neighbors such a beautiful place we live in <laughs> oh up there ah that's a, that's probably not a deer that's horse or cow on the field i guess maybe even the exmoor ponies yeah we got the wild horses in here oh yeah there is a whole bunch but not right on the top of the hill, on the side of the hill. I don't know if you can see that. I can, but they are quite far away and you may not be able to spot them. Yeah, there is about 15, maybe 20 of them on that hill. Okay, the river goes there and we walk here. Uh, to the place called Cow Castle and Will Eli Eliza Mine. Something I did not see in Poland, uh, but Quite often here on the moors, when you got like uh, solitary trees on the field, they create just like a beautiful tent. They stretch, stretch the branches so wide, and yeah, it's like a beautiful place for camping. <laughs> Nothing grows here because uh, everything needs uh, sun and they uh, pretty well prevent sun rays from coming down here. Uh, I think that cover of trees can be also useful in a second because as you can see right now behind me it's probably raining in there. So, not being funny, but I think this is this cow castle. Cow castle is just a hill. That seems to be it. It's supposed to be right next to the river. And this one is. Actually, the river goes around. Oh, another print. Let me see if you can go around here. 
and also I think I have located the wheel Elisa mine oh my god I was late there was just the beautiful grey heron just lift off the river and flew up probably get scared of me you cannot see it anymore I, I can see it I can see it neck very long neck it's right up there across the river some roughly in the middle of the hill just watching me Yeah, we're just going around that castle. Uh, I was hoping I can climb up. I probably could. <laughs> it would be a small challenge because of the lot of gorses. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. Today. It's muddy and wet and I guess you have to be very careful when you do this. Let's see how far we can go around the castle. That's also the marsh marshes area. Like I said, there is no water right now. The only wet I can feel is from the rain. But yeah, sometimes this area is inaccessible and flooded. I was hoping to see more wildlife. Interesting. Oh, here we got opening in a river. That's where animals crossing, I guess. All kind of animals. We cannot see any salmon yet, obviously, because it's not a salmon season. Tiny, tiny waterfalls. Here is sort of like a dam built. And let me see if we can go further. Quiet, no people around. Not always, though. I guess we're just lucky with the not very nice day. Let me see if we can come back on the same footpath we came. Which is pretty much all the way around Cow Castle. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you that. That's the, the hill where the horses are. Exmoor ponies. I mean, they're not very close, so we cannot see them very well. <clears throat> I 
Okay, we're coming close to the very, very close to the river. I just wonder if there is any footpath going this way. Ah, gorse. Ah, looks like there is. I can see the fence, I can see the gate. Oh, was that a dam? Oh, look at that, guys. The season just started. Yes, I forgot about it. Mmm, beautiful. A real natural wild blueberries. I hope they are blueberries and not some poisoned berries. Well, I'm just joking. I'm pretty sure they are blueberries. <coughs> okay, so we just pretty much made a circle around the cow castle. And, oh, what's that tree? Is that a beech tree? I'm not an expert, but as far as I remember, It can be. It's very, very dark in here. Please shut the gate. Okay, we will. We always do. Okay, the footpath is there. Up there. And we're coming back on the footpath now. So, yeah, the cow castle. <coughs> Unfortunately, cow castle is inaccessible. It's not a place. I mean, yeah, if you don't care, you can go there. You will be shredded to bits, scratched by gorse. But we have more things to film today, so we're not going there. I hope that will take me up back on a footpath. Yes, it does. Okay, so that was quite a nice little walk around the cow castle, which is just a hill. It's a nice place when you got a good weather. You can come here with the kids have a walk. It's probably adventure for the kids, you know, with all those ferns growing very high. They cannot see what's behind the next turn. And yeah, it just starts raining and luckily I'm next to those beautiful tent trees. So I think I'm gonna seek a shelter in there and then when the rain pass I can show you the Will Eliza mine. As you can see behind me the rain is pumping out there but here not a drop. Beautiful. My tree works perfect. Uh, I hope this is gonna be just a small cloud because <laughs> I can see something <laughs> very disturbing and actually what I can see is that I cannot see almost the last hill right now which means even bigger rain is coming let's hope my tent will, tent will work properly and no damage will happen. I wouldn't like to have all my cameras and everything wet. I will be big unluck today. 
Okay, the rain is gone. Um, completely dry. Not even one drop get on me, which is nice. However, there is still plenty of clouds coming, so let's just see around where are another shelters just in the case and see that will Eliza place okay will Eliza cottage are just ruins of old cottage Beautiful scenery, whoever was living here got a beautiful spot. However, down there there is a structure which I'm quite interested because it's fenced. And I'm gonna see if that's the mine. Yes, it is. So as you can see right down here on the on the river bank used to be mines. <laughs> tin I expect because majority of mines here were a tin mines. A lot of holes. Perhaps something was going there. You have to be careful in places like that because there always is a danger that you may, may fall in some shaft or whatever. The stories like that were happening in Cornwall. So yeah, it, all, it is all fenced with the barbed wire, so people won't cross. It's quite interesting. Do not enter concealed mine shaft. All right. I'm quite interested. <laughs> but we got a beautiful bridge in here, as you can see. You can cross to the other side. From the that's the view of those mine works from the other side Ah yeah there is a not so much concealed shaft just going under the into the hill, seems to be going into the hill right under the footpath. Interesting, interesting. How about this side? Oh! And also here was something
That's definitely man-made structure. Perhaps some kind of engine room or something on the other side of the river. Impression that from here, yeah, we're not very far from the mine works. You can see it is just behind that curve. But here is the place which we reach during our visit to Lanaker Bridge. And we just couldn't walk because there was no fo footpath next to the river anymore. That's the that seems to be the place. Okay. If you check it on the map, there is no not a lot of distances everywhere here. I mean, it looks like massive when you're going in a car because the road's going up and down, up and down, around. But here, actually, <laughs> everywhere is close. I'm not gonna go there because, as you can see, I am <laughs> rain. I'm already wet. <clears throat> It's getting a bit clearer. I want to check what I can see from the sky. Of course, if the wind permits.
so <laughs> our adventure is coming to an end today as you can see this is pretty much like the whole Exmoor uh, looks like uh, it's quite difficult uh, landscape to navigate to farm a uh, lot of valleys and hills quite steep a very rough terrain and yeah it is in my opinion it's not a lot of interesting places to see just like on a coastline which doesn't mean Exmoor is uh, boring it's a beautiful and fantastic place if you like to walk and just feed your eyes and your brain with the views <sighs> what you can see on my movie is really nothing the real picture stays here that's why it's important to go out and explore for yourself I see you on another exploration I don't know yet where we're gonna go uh, I try to pick up something uh, more exciting than today uh, there is still plenty of places to visit uh, the biggest difficulty I always have is uh, I go somewhere and I got that spark in my brain ah yeah we could go there we could go there and then I forget about it <laughs> and then I'm sitting at home and I'm trying to figure out where is the interesting place to go and show you but slowly slowly we're gonna visit the whole Devon and perhaps Cornwall uh, maybe even Somerset uh, I still plan to go to Wales not far from uh, Devon is a plenty interesting places to see in Wales so stay tuned into Polish Explorer and I see you on another exploration high five <laughs>